What don't you see here? Hmm, exactly, a blue dress. And I'm wondering, what's up with that? Brickomotion. Hello, Claire here. Through the years, we've gotten five distinct Aurora Lego mini dolls. They differ in face and dress printing, while the hairpiece stays the same. Why change greatness? But I want to know, why are all of the dresses pink? I mean, there's that smudge of blue there, but uh, they're pink. All of them. So why are none of the dresses blue? And more importantly, why did I have to paint one instead of just buying it? Okay, well, the last question isn't really something that I want to know. It's more like I want to show you. And as for the rest, I think I know what's going on. And it has more to do with Disney than with Lego. The Minidol Lego Producers is based on the Princess Aurora from Disney's animated movie Sleeping Beauty that came out in 1959. One of the storylines throughout the movie follows the fight between Aurora's fairy godmothers about should her new dress be pink or blue. Such a very important decision. Very important. Instead of reaching an agreement like grown-up people should do, the fairies continue to shout pink and blue magically turning the dress into the respective color. While this creates a mesmerizing dance scene for Aurora and Prince Philip, it's not a good conflict-solving example for argumentative siblings. So you get one guess on whether I like it or not. It also introduced a conundrum for toy manufacturers that persists to this day. Do you produce Aurora in the pink or the blue dress? In pink, she looks like any other random princess. And in blue, she looks like Cinderella. At least to one unknowing grandparent who's looking for a present. I can see why Lego made the decision they have. They've never had a random pink mini doll princess and Cinderella was one of their heavy hitters. So it's no wonder they wanted to make their two classic Disney princesses as different as possible. Especially considering they're both already Caucasian and blonde. Therefore, I don't think Lego's going to produce a blue Aurora anytime soon. So once again, it's up to me to make that happen. Off to the painting desk, which is that way. I liked Aurora's 2018 torso the best, so I used it as the base for my blue torso. I violently exchanged the pink hands with the ones from a blue holiday sweater to avoid painting them. Because we know the less painting you need to do, the better. Then, using the dark pink lines as guidelines, I painted the blue torso to look just like the original. I wanted the transition between pink and blue to be as smooth as possible. And in that, I succeeded. However, a torso alone does not a dress make. I figured the easiest way to create a blue skirt for Aurora is to steal it from Cindy. She has so many, she won't even notice. The skirt I chose had some silver sparkles, which I liked, and an overskirt print that I wanted to get rid of. Using my trusted cotton swabs and evaporated acetone, I removed the print. It took quite a lot of rubbing till I was happy with the removal, but then the dress was done. The blue Aurora looks great from all sides, regardless if she is by herself 
in a lineup next to her pink counterparts or a dancing with Prince Philip. At this point, I have the blue Aurora and I'm totally proud of myself for having made her as gorgeous as she is. And I thought I was done with this a Disney princess outfit upgrade. But then my daughter taught me otherwise. She felt it would be a great injustice if Aurora also didn't get a blue ball gown. Now, I believe with all of my heart that the mini doll A-line long skirt is a perfect Lego representation of the Sleeping Beauty dress, but I also had a spare Cinderella ball gown and my daughter can be persistent, so 15 minutes and 4 cotton swaps later, Aurora had a blue ball gown as well. And while the dress is really not movie accurate, it is still gorgeous. And no, I didn't paint another blue torso. I'm reusing the same one. If Lego can reuse a hairpiece a million times, I can reuse a torso twice. With the magic of editing, I can even place both blue dresses in the same photo. Editing magic is just like real magic, only that it works. Looking at the pink and blue versions, I can understand why the fairies had such a hard time coming to an agreement. They are all stunning. If it were up to me to decide, I'd go with the ultimate compromise. Lavender. Having Aurora's blue dress in front of me, I'm even more convinced that my hypothesis from the beginning was correct. Aurora was the only reasonable candidate out of the Disney princess lineup to wear pink as her signature color. And having a princess theme without at least one pink dress would have meant that Disney does not like making money. But they do. So we are here. Also, imagine the confusion for the people who aren't that Disney savvy. They get to the toys department of a store and see three blonde princesses rocking blue gowns. Which one was Elsa again? Lego made the right choice dressing Aurora in pink. I made another beautiful and unique mini doll and no girl mistakenly got Aurora's carriage instead of Elsa's palace from her grandma. Until the next time you click on one of my videos, bye bye! Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo! No wait, that was, that, that was a different movie. My bad. Aurora. <laughs>